Today on Try This at Home, we're going to show you how to install Optware on your DDWRT router. Now to do this, you're going to need either a USB thumb drive or an external hard drive, some sort of USB device that you can connect to your router that is a storage device. So prerequisites, make sure you're using a Kong build. The main uh, DDWRT source tree um, and all the Brainslayer builds have disabled FPU emulation, which at the moment means Optware will not work on those builds. Kong builds all have the FPU emulator re-enabled, so Optware will work. So make sure you're running a Kong build. If you're not, you can swap over to one um, easily just by doing a firmware update as you normally would and it also has some better QoS and a few things which are nice little tweaks. So, beginning what you're need, gonna need to do on your router, go to services, enable, secure shell, and apply settings. Now, while you're waiting for that, find your thumb drive, and I'm going to assume that you're comfortable with Linux. If not, there is a how to format and partition your device on the DDWRT wiki, which I will link to if you're on Windows, you're gonna have to boot into a Linux Live CD, use Parted Magic, or something of that nature to get this formatted into a file system that your router will be able to use. I'm already on Linux, so I'll just run cfdisk slash dev slash sdd, which is my um, USB device. At the moment you see there's a few things on here. Oops. Hold on. So I'll just run CF disk slash dev slash SDD, which is my USB device. Run that. You see there's a partition table there. And uh, let's see, so we will delete those, create one new partition, primary, size and megabytes, and this is a two gigabyte thumb drive, and I'd like to have a little bit of swap, so we'll do 1500 megabytes, which will be our Optware partition, and this will be our swap partition. Now this one we have to change to type 82, Oops. 82, there we go, which is Linux swap. Now write, now quit, now command makes an ext2 file system on our thumb drive and there we go our thumb drive is now ready so now I'm going to go over and plug it into the router Okay, so now that the USB thumb drive is plugged into the router, we're going to go back to our web browser, go to the USB tab in Services, enable Core USB, enable Storage, enable Automatic Drive Mount. Now, hit Apply Settings. Okay, so jump off the USB tab and back on and it'll update shows it found volume name Optware it has a UUID here grab that UUID for the first one under volume name Optware if you have more partitions it'll show up down there put that in your mount this partition to opt 
Hit apply settings. Now. I already logged in and checked this quick. Run in your terminal ssh root at 192.168.11 or whatever your router's IP is or you can connect in Windows via PuTTY. So run this. It'll ask you for your password. Log in. Double check by running mount that this device is mounted on opt. As long as that's mounted, you're good. Now, the next thing you're going to do is actually begin installing Optware. So, wget o slash temp slash prep Optware. This will all be written up by the on the forums web uh, too. So run this, connect and download that, and then run sh slash slash prep prep optor. Optor is not installed, and now it'll sit, and we can go over to here to administration, where is it, status, bandwidth, and watch it sit and download stuff. So this takes a while, so I'd say at this point, go get yourself a bite to eat, take a break, and come back to it, depending on your internet speed, in five minutes to upwards of half an hour if you're on really slow internet. <laughs> so we'll come back in just a minute after this is finished. Okay, so now it's finished up here. Um, so our next step is to reboot the router by typing reboot into our SSH terminal. And then connection was closed, so that means it's rebooting. Now wait approximately a minute and then try your SSH connection. Now one thing I will mention, once it finishes installing, if you sit here and watch it, wait absolutely a minimum of one minute before you do the reboot because the script has a few last little things that may still be running and copying files moving things so make sure you wait for them. Now you can see in the background the um, bandwidth monitor has started working again so now we can SSH back into it and if everything worked then we should be greeted with an Optware splash screen right there enhanced with OTRW2 Optware the right way too. You can do all kinds of stuff. Once you get it installed, you can look up. There's tons of pages on the internet, tons of information about more things you can do with Optware, and we'll get into that in later videos. So hopefully this helped some of you out if you were trying to get Optware installed, and uh, thanks for watching.